Jesus sets us free. That's the liberating message of our devotion today. So, let's listen. Nakakulong ka ba? There was once a woman who lived in a three-story house. Dahil ilan lang ang mga bahay sa lugar nila na hindi bungalow, she enjoyed quite a nice bird's eye view of the village day and night. Pero may isang bahay malapit sa kanila na itinayo na hanggang three floors din. The woman wasn't bothered at all, but what concerned her is the fact na ang third floor ng kapitbahay ay walang bubong at doon nakakulong ang aso ng may-ari. Inulan at inaraw ang aso roon. Ni hindi siya makahanap ng mapagsisilungan dahil nga nakakulong siya. The more the woman watched the poor dog, the more she felt sympathy for him. Let's assess. The woman isn't a dog. The dog isn't hers and she isn't locked up in a cage either. Pero bakit hindi siya mapakali at awang-awa siya sa kalagayan ng aso? Because the woman knows nobody wants to be in a cage. Being locked up is such a frightening experience. Even our animal friends need freedom to roam around and find a comfortable and healthy shelter. Cages aren't just structures made of wood or steel and fastened by padlocks bought in hardware stores. Cages can also mean trauma from the past, inability to embrace the present, or anxiety about the future. Cages can be the lies the enemy keeps whispering to us. They can also come in the form of hurtful words from other people, sinful bondage, and addiction. The list goes on and on. But the good news is there's somebody who can and has set us free. It is Jesus. Kaya niya tayong palayain mula sa anumang kulungang kinaruroonan natin. Kaya niya tayong kalagan sa mga tali, posas, bakal na pumipigil sa atin upang mamuhay ng masaya at malaya. Ito ay isang pangako ng Ama na dapat nating panghawakan dahil totoo ito. Magdasal tayo. Ama, salamat sa pagpapalaya ninyo sa akin mula sa kulungang kinaroroanan ko. Salamat, Jesus, na binuksan mo na ang kandado na naging dahilan ng matagal ko ng pagkakakulong. Amen. And what is our application? Well, are you in a cage? What are the limitations that you know aren't God-given? Claim the freedom that comes from the Lord Jesus and live your best life knowing that it is His will for you to live in freedom. Kayo'y tunay na lalaya kapag pinalaya kayo ng anak. 1.8.36 If you've accepted Jesus as your Savior, believe that He has set you free. Experience the freedom that you have in Him. Join us again tomorrow for the last part of our series, Jesus Sets Us Free. I'm Joyce Burton-Titular and thank you for joining us.